You know, you are always the same person, and you're never the same person. Uh, the, there's a constant shedding of selves that goes on from book to book, and and uh, in some ways, the person who wrote an earlier book is a totally different person from the one who's written the last book. I mean, I'm I'm in flux constantly. We all are, I think, or we should be. I think a he- flux is a healthy thing. So. And if I take two years to write a book, then yes, I'm a different person at the end of it. And I suppose that whatever I'm dealing with in the book is part of that process. But I don't, I'm not c- conscious of how that fits in there. I think that you change, but it's because, you know, you, 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 you had a hernia or you lost your dog and got a new dog or, you know, your relationship broke up or you decided to quit drinking aspartame and it changed your <laughs> way of, you know. So those things happen, and those will affect your next book. I think writing is just a, uh, a sort of a, a byproduct of living, and, uh, and it, it kind of uh, it captures my change. You're right. I mean, I, th- I think sometimes when I hear somebody say, you know, it took uh, 15 years to write my book, what I think is, oh, uh, bad idea. Get it done in three or four years, because after three or four years, you're quite a different person. You have different tastes, different ideas, different thoughts, different uh, things you want to follow. And if you're dragging into your 10th or 11th year of writing a book, that to me only seems like a torture I want to avoid entirely because you'll look at things you wrote 10 years ago and think, well, I'm not interested in those things anymore. I want to move on. And so you're changing your novel all the time. So I think, um, I think, uh, for me anyway, uh, I try to finish any kind of project within five years, and then I move on to the next thing. But it's but the the writing of the thing doesn't change me. I'm just uh, as everyone is. I'm slightly different uh, through time. So I want to get to a new project with the new sort of sensibility I have, just from the experiences of living. I think that by the time you get to writing the book. Um, you've already changed. So it's not necessarily the process of writing it, but it's more um, living through the book in your mind and living through all the work that you have to do to actually get to page one um, that changes you. Um, I remember researching researching for my second novel about Santeria and like the legacy of um, slaves in Cuba, and that, that changed me. In the case of the latest book, Thousand Blossoms, it had to do a lot with the war from the Japanese point of view and not being, not knowing very much about it and learning a great deal by writing this book of how it felt to be a Japanese civilian in Japan during the war, which is something, you know, we Westerners don't have, you know, a a lot of knowledge of other than the atomic bombs being dropped in order to stop the war. Um, So I felt like I learned a great deal. I want to learn all the time. And, And the great thing about, you know, I was never a historian, but every time I think of a new subject that I want to write about. I just love the research process of finding out about that period. And I might not have been that interested in it if I hadn't thought I'm going to write a story out of it. Right now I'm reading a a lot of books about um, Islam and the Muslim religion because I'm studying this new book in Turkey. And so, you know, I'm not sure how much of that information will actually appear in the novel itself, but I want to know as much as I can in order to write the book convincingly. And maybe there'll only, when all is said and done, there'll only be one line that even suggests that I read anything about, you know, Islam or Turkish history. But for me, it's really important as a writer to understand that. So certainly, I wouldn't necessarily have read all these books beforehand um, if I wasn't going to, to write this book. And so I do think it it expands your horizons in that sense. And obviously, anytime you're putting yourself in a different character's situation, I think it has, helps you have more compassion and more a sense of humanity. In reading a novel, in reading fiction, the, the, the reader is seeing things from other people's points of view, and, 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 and that can be a very um, widening experience. And the same thing, applies to the writer. You're um, going about a sort of an ordinary life where you are changing in the course of your daily life, you know, in terms of um, the people that you meet, the things you do and so on. But um, but in writing, you're also experiencing, and you're not only experiencing, but you're creating the experience. And um, 
I think I'm forced to think about cause and effect, about um, consequences, about how things begin, the origin of actions, so that at the end of a work, yes, I'm understanding a great deal more than when I had begun. And quite often my books, um, uh, because I write in the first person a lot and I, I kind of think it's the same process as a character actor, I'm kind of in character, and um, so I've got to learn the same lesson that the, the characters um, learn. So in whale music, I mean, I kind of think that part of me said, you know what would be cool to be kind of a, an eccentric hermit and uh, not leave the house. And uh, so I kind of adopted that persona in, in Desmond Howell. But, you know, I had to, in a sense, lead us both through the journey to realize, well, no, it's better to, to go outside and be involved with humanity. So, you know, I think... I think whatever, whatever, not that there's a lot of, you know, well, I was going to say not that there's morals in my books, because you know what, there are morals in my book. But I think I'm learning the same moral as the, uh, as the main character. And that's the power of story, right? That's the ab absolutely the power of story, is that we look for stories to be changed, right? Now, it's not, it's not a, about information. If it was about information, it would be a textbook. I could, you know, I could, uh, I could go to Wikipedia. I could go to Wikipedia if it's about information, but instead I'm going in to go, how, you know, what tools, what skills, what can I gain from this experience that will take me out and allow me to be better equipped, better equipped for the world. I believe there is inspiration. Inspiration is like, like a jolt of something that almost forces you to, to tackle a theme or a character or something. And, and it's so powerful that, that you can't resist it. That's the muse. But the rest is work.